Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this Land Rover Series 1 called Ernest that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of um, engine starting and idling action at the beginning of the uh, driving video. Anyway, hope you like them. Okay, let's take a look around uh, Ernest, which is uh, a Land Rover Series 1 2 litre. It's got the correct type uh, 2 litre engine in it. Obviously finished in bronze green, soft top. Um, green wheels, fitted with a matching set of uh, D-Stone tyres, 600 by 16s. Um, it's got wing mirrors, spare wheel on the bonnet, rear mud flaps. It's a three-seater inside. It's just rather nice, nicely patinated. Not too nice, you're not frightened of using it. But um, it's pretty good all round, really. Right, um, I'm not going to go into every blemish on the paint. There are, you know, quite a few. It's an older restoration. There's lots of cracking and marking on the uh, on the paintwork, but it is at least properly sprayed. As you can see, we've got some marks there. Sorry about the shadow. I'm wearing a big hat today. It's so, uh, so sunny. Show you down here. Looking down the near side, we've got a slight dent in the near side front wing just here, probably from where the passenger door has opened onto it. This this does the job, but only does so much of a job, should we say. You often find serious ones with the dent in the wings just there. Bit of paint loss just there. Scuttle corner and everything will look pretty good. Screen's nice. Show you a bit inside here if we can. And then a post passenger door. You can see the wing at the, the door when you're on a slope, that's exactly what the door's supposed to do. Go back and uh, Hit that rubber bung. Um, show you down here, and if we take these mats up, oh, it's also got the Smith's heater, which does work. Show you the footwell. Dash. Now it's showing. What's that say? Showing forty-three thousand miles. Whether that's correct or not, who knows? I haven't looked at the history yet. So I can't really comment at the moment. It's got its proper sprung steering wheel. It's got the correct seats, which are all in good shape. Let's shut that door again. Near side rear wing, a couple of ripples in it, especially just about there. I'll show you under the back end here. Carrying on round, around the tailgate and cross member. It's obviously had a couple of patches just welded in on the very bottom edges of the cross member, but um, we've tapped and prodded them and they're pretty solid. Look as if they've been there for years. Let's see if we can get underneath there a little bit. No, not really. Can't bend that low. Carrying on round. Again, a few ripples in the uh, in the front wings, but otherwise looks pretty good from this side. Nice, just a nice series one. This and it's come from an owner that we know well, that is very much a Land Rover enthusiast, and every Land Rover we've ever had from him has been absolutely super. the A post and the scuffle corner on the driver's side and then drivers underneath here and we'll go 
that to the side. Nice to see it's still got its proper clips for the um, for the windows as well. Talked about the seats being in good shape. Steering wheel's in good order. Let's see if we can pull this mat out. That might be tricky, but I've got no reason to assume. Yeah, can't get that one out. I'll show you under there at least. Yeah, as I say, just a a nice, unpretentious series one that's uh, pretty correct. And as I say, an older, patinated restoration. I rather like it. Hope you do too. There we go.